the only qualifications to be buried here is that you you own a plot and the only qualifications for owning a plot is to pay for it. So if you come up today, you can buy a plot in, in Glasnevin Cemetery and that will be your family plot. My sense of the place is it's almost where opposites attract. And, and that was to Daniel O'Connell's credit when he opened the cemetery. He said anybody who wants to be buried here can be buried here, full stop. So if you have somebody of the Catholic faith, beside them you have somebody of the Protestant faith, and beside them you have an atheist, and beside them you have an agnostic. If you have somebody of left-wing politics buried here, you have somebody of right-wing politics buried right beside them. The very first person buried in the graveyard was Michael Carey. Uh, he was an 11-year-old boy. He was from Francis Street in Dublin. His father was a scrap metal dealer and he was buried here on the 22nd of February 1832. And it's nice as well that the first person buried in the cemetery is this kind of anonymous uh, uh, child. It's not somebody really famous that they started off because that's really what the cemetery was for, was just for ordinary people for over the last 180 years or so. Part of you has to detach fr from all of this stuff. I see the human life here, so when I read through the records, I see, you know, living human beings that were here a hundred years ago, and, and yes, they died in a workhouse, but I see them as, as living beings, but you have to detach from it. The, the gravediggers develop a black sense of humour that you have heard nothing like it, you know, almost shocking, because that's their coping mechanism for distancing themselves from the very kind of gruesome job that they sometimes have to do. So all of them, to a man, want to be cremated. As far as they're concerned, just cremate me. I don't want to end up like that. Because they've seen something we haven't. I'm going to be buried with my dad. Um, my father died in 2002, and I got him a grave out there beside Frank Ryan, and there's room for one other person in the grave, and that's where I'm going. I, I personally would go for burial over cremation, but each to his own. The Sikhs, um, when they come here to cremate, they insist on pressing the button themselves. The eldest son presses the button. So they actually, normally services take place in the chapel and then people just go away and it's brought down to the furnace. But the Sikhs actually go down and press the button themselves because that's part of their service. And down there, there's, there's windows on the, on the oven and you can actually look in. And do you know what the last thing you see burning is? It's the heart. The heart goes black and you just see a black lump in the middle of all the flames. And that's the last thing you see, your black, black heart.